Hello and welcome, I'm Alas Gerdjuk and you're watching Head to Head with UATV. Today we're talking about the biographical film called Lesia Ukrainka Uzlissa. It is about the life of a prominent Ukrainian writer and poetess, even more about the two realities in which Lesia Ukrainka lived, her daily life and inner world. To talk more about this movie, we are joined in the studio today by Julia Sinkevich, film producer and general producer of the Odessa International Film Festival. Hello and thank you for joining us today. Hello. It's a pleasure to have you here again. So could you please tell us how did you come up with the idea uh, of this movie? Why exactly about Lesia Ukrainka? It was a, actually a pure accident. Uh, I was together with my co-producer from Georgia, Maria Maskalenko. We were in Georgia and we were driving by car from Batumi to Tbilisi and we were passing by uh, Surami, uh, the very small town where Lesia Ukrainka actually passed away. And not many people know, but many do and it's in a school program that she actually spent the last years of her life in Georgia. In Georgia right. So we were just passing by and uh, we were talking about films and culture etc and then she said by the way here is the place where she passed away and then we realized that actually there is no film about her not a good quality documentary no feature film except of one which was uh, filmed in Kiev at Dvorenka film studio in 1971 which been quite a while ago and um, the director is uh, Mashinka quite known Ukrainian film director so we realized that uh, it's not only that that we need the film about Lesia Ukrainka, but also that she is a very up-to-date and interesting and fascinating personality, a powerful woman, uh, independent, uh, really modern for those times. Uh, so we got interested in her as a person, as a actually kind of female leader of uh, Ukraine of those times. And this is how it all began. Exciting, yes, because she, she, she is truly a phenomenon in the Ukrainian literature. Um, as I understand, uh, the shooting hasn't started yet, but you released the first teaser of it, so we can witness a few scenes. Uh, but could you tell us, before we witness the clip, could you tell us a bit about the plot of the movie? Actually, it was quite difficult. It's always a difficult thing with biographies, with bi biographical films, to put someone's life into a full, complete story. So we were playing around with what part of her life we should uh, show. And uh, up to now, it's actually from childhood till actually last days uh, of her life, focusing on the years of 1901-1903, uh, where the most sort of dramatic uh, um, events in her life happened. And um, these are the relationships between uh, Sergei Merzhinsky uh, and Lesia, between Olga Kobylanska and her, and also uh, finally she marries Clement Kvitka, her uh, husband, uh, who was mm -hmm. with her till the end of her life. So this is a love and tragedy story of Lesia Ukrainka. As far as I know, this particular part is depicted in the first teaser. Let's watch a fragment of it. So, as far as, in, uh, well, according to the poetess biography, uh, Lesia Ukrainka was taking care of her beloved uh, Serhii Merzhinsky, uh, trying to ease his last uh, days of life. Let's just give the audience some understanding of um, this. Uh, as far as I understand, this event this period of her life is the main conflict of this movie or not? Let's say it's a peak. It's the most dramatic moment in the film. Mm -hmm. And after that, she wrote one of her famous poems called Obsessed. Do you use it somehow in, in this film? Do you plan on using it? We do. And actually, there is a lot of discussion. And this was the poem which fascinated our film director, Nana Janelidze. Uh, that was the turning point for her to, to make this decision when she realized that this poem was written within one night. And uh, the 
power of this poem is really amazing and uh, we do plan to use it. I cannot tell you precisely how at this uh, stage, but uh, of course. Mm -hmm. And also in the introduction, I explained the audience that the movie is going to be about two realities, about uh, about actually the, the life of Lesia Korinka, but also about her inner world. Um, how do you research this inner world of Lesia Ukrainka and or who is researching it and what do you see in there? How do you plan on depicting this? Because this is really interesting and really fascinating. Well, actually, uh, everything is in her work. Uh, everything is in her poems, in her letters, uh, in her dramas, uh, which she had written. Uh, so it's all there, basically. You just need to read it uh, properly and use it for the film. Uh, of course, we have consultants. Uh, we consulted with Oksana Zabushka, for example, who is a known Ukrainian writer, but also she uh, Published her uh, publishing house published all three parts of uh, Lesia Ukrainka's letters, uh, and also she published a book uh, Notre Dame de Ukraine, uh, which is a very um, massive and interesting, I would say even philosophical um, piece of work, and where you can find a lot of answers. Uh, basically, two realities are that uh, many things, uh, according to the rules and standards of the cultures of those times, many things could not be done openly. Let's say. But this was something in Lesa's mind, in her imagination, things she could allow herself to do. Also, physically, she was not well uh, all her life through. So she could not, again, do things which she had in her uh, mind, in her fantasy, in her uh, other world, I would say, inner world. Mm -hmm. She couldn't realize all of the ideas that she had. Uh, we mentioned that the movie is biographical and also you kind of gave me an understanding that this is a challenge because I do agree that on one hand um, it is hard, on another hand it is not hard because you do not really invent the plot, but it is very uh, hard to not to skip some some really important part of 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 life of the famous person and uh, Ukrainian audience uh, uh, does know Lesia Ukrainka really well. So that is why my next question is about challenges. What is challenging in this work? It's a, a tremendous responsibility, I would say, because again, everybody have their own uh, Im image of how the film should be, uh, how the story should be told, what are the parts of her life which we should picture. And uh, still we are saying that it's our subjective point of view, it's our point of view to Lesia Ukrainka's life. If this is how we see her, this is how we think uh, she should be on the screen. And uh, of course we, uh, we are, Quite, uh, quite afraid that um, that we might uh, do something which will be sort of against um, her real mm -hmm. inner uh, world and uh, her essence of her uh, work and so on. But uh, so I would say this kind of responsibility is challenging, mm -hmm. and also it should be interesting for the audience. Uh, they should uh, watch it and find out things they don't know from the school program or university program. Of course, especially yes, in school program, uh, teachers do not really provide the people, pupils with the information about love story of this unique uh, love triangle of Lesia Ukrainka um, and uh, another and Olha Kobylenska and the Serhi. Uh, so who is directing the movie? Uh, it's a Georgian director, Nana Janaridze. Uh -huh. uh, she is known uh, for uh, writing a, a, a script uh, for a film by Tengiza Buladze. Uh, re, re, uh, Pakayanya is uh, the Russian title, I'm not sure how it is in English, but the film won uh, an award in Cannes in 1987 mm -hmm. and uh, she is a known uh, Georgian director since then and she completed a lot of works. Uh, of course your question would be why this is not a Ukrainian director uh, and so we were actually looking for a Ukrainian director for a long time because the script uh, and the idea appeared before we uh, committed a director and uh, actually things sort of came together because Nana's vision, Nana's uh, image, Nana's style of work is something we were looking for exactly. So, uh, and since there is this connection between Ukraine and Georgia, and it's uh, Ukrainian and Georgian co-production, we find it quite uh, natural uh, mm -hmm. to have a Georgian director. Well, I also read that you were waiting for her answer for about a year. Is yeah, true. it true? True. <laughs> Why? First of all, even though 
Ukraine and Georgia are really close uh, culturally and there is this natural friendship, uh, still we are quite far. And touching a national icon for Nana was something um, really dangerous, I would She's say. She's even more scared than you probably. She is, she is. And she realizes this uh, responsibility and she uh, realized that it's a very uh, solid amount of work which uh, she should complete. Uh, and that's why she was hesitating. Also, she has her own other film project uh, going on. Uh, so uh, it was really taking a lot of time for her to get used to this uh, thought that she is going to direct this film and for us to convince her. And as mm -hmm. I said, the turning point was the poem Obsessed by Alessia Ukrainka. So she read this poem and then she changed her mind. Yeah. So now she starts researching the information about Alessia Ukrainka and Alessia Ukrainka's poetry. Yeah, she's uh, already quite deep into it for the past uh, half a year, I would say. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Well, this is inspiring and this is really nice. Um, speaking of the main role of the movie, I do know that you have already selected the main actress. This is Ukrainian actress Daria Polunina. Could you please tell us why exactly her and how did you see, like, what connection does she have with Lesya Ukrainka? Can we already, I know that there is no shooting yet, but can you observe her kind of diving into this role? Mm. Well, again, that was a pure coincidence. That was not the plan. And uh, there was no sort of uh, public or closed casting uh, for the main role. And uh, everybody were curious. So who it might be, actually, who is that actress who is going to play uh, Lesa Ukrainka? And we were aiming to a completely different person, actually. Uh, but then again by accident. Uh, I, I saw Daria in a short film, the, her first sort of debut uh, role, but uh, she looks completely different and uh, I did not consider her at all. But then I saw her photo shoot and uh, this was something which was kind of between two worlds, I would say. She on one hand looked like someone from the beginning of the 20th century, end of the 19th century. Uh, she has very specific and interesting uh, appearance. At the same time, she's adding this modern um, style, I would say modern look, um, something which connects uh, us with, uh, with the modern generation. With the modern, yeah, generation and with modern look. And uh, she is a really interesting and talented actress. Uh, I don't tell her usually that, but I'm really sure she's going to be very big quite soon. She will uh, not only thanks to our film, but also I see how she works on the role. I see how deep she is uh, into the story and to the character. And it's a very challenging role. Not not only um, emotionally and content-wise, but also physically. Because again, Lesya Ukrainka uh, had um, a very severe uh, disease uh, all her life through. She had uh, her uh, hand was um, damaged after surgeries. Uh, her leg was also after many surgeries. So well, she had tuberculosis. Yeah. Yeah. So and again, uh, she died uh, of tuberculosis. So of course, uh, it's physically and emotionally challenging role, and Daria is already working very hard on it. You know, you were emphasizing that lots of things are happening spontaneously, and uh, usually spontaneous things do become masterpieces and I am wishing you just that. So far thank I thank you for being a guest today in our studio. Thank you so much. That was Julia Sinkavich, film producer and general producer of the Odessa International Film Festival. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I am Alice Gerduk. Goodbye.